view YouTube it's only one and I'm gonna tell you guys why I went back to air cooled versus liquid cooled now it's not for any bad reasons as you can see I had a Corsair liquid cooling really worked well and I went back to the um, AMD Ryzen 2700X stock cooler fan it included with the system uh, the, it's only like a 10C difference um, I did overclock this to um, 4 gigahertz, and the di difference in C um, temperatures was like 5 to 10 C. Uh, the reason I switched is because I can't get the max overclock out of it, so I figured the stock cooler would be best, and it looks the best compared to my liquid cooling, which, you know, was kind of cramping up the inside of my system. And this one can also cool my RAM since it intakes heat um, downwards, and I also have an intake fan here, so... It's nothing against liquid cooling, but I think you should go with that if you want to overclock to the max. And if you have Intel CPUs, then by far you definitely need liquid cooling. Um, but since I have Ryzen, the times have changed. Ryzen is now cooler than Intel, which is kind of a flip-flop, if you ask me. So, yeah, I'm just going to go with air cooling for now. It's worked pretty good, um, and it looks gorgeous in my RGB case. I got RGBs in there, and I got an RGB controller. And as you guys can see, my... Temps are well below 20C when the thing's idle, and it drops down to 22, but it goes to 4 gigahertz on all cores, which is awesome. And yeah, gaming performance. Ouch!